Yo, what is up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy 97 Kicks and today we're going to do an epic review of the Air Max 90 Infrareds. Y'all can already tell, cozy vibes going on over here. It's getting cold finally here in LA, so time to take out them sweats. But yeah, I've been waiting all year for this sneaker release. So here we got a very, very unusual box going on over here, guys. It's like a very skinny box going over here. It's like very different than the traditional Jordan box. Size eight and a half, as you guys can see. Very retro, retro vibes going on over here. Got like the slight stripes going down over here and then got some few Nike logos going around the box. So, you know, very retro vibes going on over here, guys. Let's open the box and God damn guys, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, guys. The Air Max 90 infrareds. Cannot get much more classy than this sneaker. And it comes with this really, really dope Nike Air hang tag. I just love it when Jordan Brand does this kind of stuff, you know? And it's not like that flimsy, thin Nike Air hang tag, but it's an actual solid plastic Nike Air hang tag, which I really appreciate. And going on over to the actual sneakers. So quality is not very good on this uh, toe box going on over here. It's like very thin, feels pretty cheap uh, toe box going on over here. And it looks like it's gonna be very difficult to clean if you get this dirty. And then we've got like this suede like material going on and the mud guard also feels pretty thin and cheap. But uh, we have to remember that this is originally a running shoe. So we're not gonna be expecting very thick, heavy materials going on over here, guys. We're gonna be expecting some very thin and light materials because we have to keep in mind, this sneaker was originally a running shoe back in 1990. Moving on to the mid panel, we've got like this Nike swoosh, also in this gray suede like material. And we also have like this faux leather material going up on the mid panel and throughout the sides and back as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't real leather. Like this feels very, very faux. And then my personal favorite parts are the hints of infrared. I just love how they have like this striped infrared going on over here. And I think that they nailed this color on the infrared. I know uh, for some of the leaked images, I know how some people were saying that it looks like it was gonna become pink, but this isn't a pink. This is looks like a true infrared. It's like a mix between a red and an orange. Pictures don't do this sneaker justice. You can't really tell the color of the sneaker by the pictures. You really have to get this sneaker in hand to determine its infrared quality. And then we've got Air Max on the mid panel uh, and then the iconic Nike Air heel tab, again with like the striped infrared material going on over here. And then the Nike logo on the tongue, also with the same infrared colorway going on over here. Air Max, inside the tongue we have this very retro looking like uh, size tag going on over here. And then even on the side, it also says stamped with the size. Of course, the insoles also have to have the Nike Air in it or else it would not be a true retro. And flipping over the insoles, there's actually a really cool pattern that actually represents the outsoles of the Air Max 90. So I just really appreciate like the effort that Nike goes to to make this sneaker as true to the OG as possible, even down to the size tags and the stamps all trying to keep it as OG, as retro as possible. Now moving on to the outsole, we have that iconic waffle Air Max outsole, guys. We've got the hints of infrared and black as well with a small Nike logo over there too. So looking pretty clean. And then of course, the most iconic part about any Air Max, the air bubble, guys. Dang, can actually squish it a little bit. So. That's pretty cool. But yeah, guys, I already wore the sneaker for a couple days and comfort is actually pretty good on this sneaker. It is actually pretty good on this sneaker, guys. I don't know what Nike has been doing with the comfort, but they have finally been upping their comfort game on the Air Maxes. I have my Air Max 1 from the last time that they re it, uh, the anniversary red, I believe back in uh, 2017, 2018, something like that. And those really are not very comfortable at all. Um, even my Sean Watherstones, they aren't that comfortable at all. I believe that these are like so much more comfortable. I don't know what it is, but these are actually more comfortable. And as for sizing guys, 
these do run true to size, at least for me. I know some people have been saying that they're a little bit snug, so I would suggest maybe if you have wide feet, then you can go up half a size, but uh, I went with true to size and they were fine with me. But of course, if you're able to try it out in person at a store, then I would suggest doing that before you actually buy it to actually make sure that it's the right size for you. Um, But yeah guys, other than the actual sneakers themselves, other than um, like the Nike hang tag, Nike has also added in a few other goodies inside the box for us. So inside we have this anatomical arch support. Looks very vintage, looks very OG, looks like straight from 1990, Jesus. Has all the description, has the arch size, sizing charge. It says like what it's supposed to be for. So I'm guessing these are supposed to be for arch support for people who, maybe runners who have flat foot or something like that. So yeah, it's pretty cool that Nike left this in here. And also there's a little card in here too. Uh, looks like a little catalog we have going on over here. The Nike International Collection, Spring 1990. So, wow, lots of nostalgia for the people who were alive back then. I was not, so I don't have this nostalgia, but it's still pretty dope to see how professional running was back in 1990. So yeah, another amazing retro by Nike. And oh my God, guys, I just love this infrared color. I remember earlier this year, Nike was dropping those Air Max 90 Recraft series and they were pretty much dropping like all the colors of the rainbow with that series except for the infrareds except for OG colorways like this one. I mean they did look pretty dope but y'all know me I'm a strict OG head only even though some of my friends you know they were getting all those dope colorways I remember my friend Sid Rod she got the purple colorway and I was really tempted to pull the trigger on that but I knew I knew that they were going to drop these infrareds at the end of the year and I'm so glad that I waited because these Air Max 90 infrareds are a thousand times better than his uh, purple Air Max 90s because this is an OG colorway. But yeah guys, that pretty much makes it to the end of the video and if you liked it, don't forget to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button if you're new here. Turn on post bell notifications so that you don't miss a single video. Follow me on the gram at 97kicksofficial for official sneak peeks like this or that. And it's been your boy 97 Kicks. There we go.